Hello, it's Joe Glines, and in this video on regular expressions, I'm going to demonstrate how I built a small script in AutoHotKey to extract email address. So here is my haystack. Right? It's the text I'm going to search through. In it, you can see I've I've made up some email addresses uh, that I will search through and try to parse out and I and rem um, extract them from this text. And in it, so the first thing you do, I'm using regex match. And the first thing you need to do is set your position where you're going to start because otherwise, if this is blank, it won't interpret um, that as a number. And actually, I think it's actually fine, but the problem is I need to, with regex match, after your first match, it doesn't continue, it stops. You need to loop. And so I need to continually be increasing this position. So it finds, you know, it goes through here, finds an email address. Oh, that's an email address. And then what I basically do down here on uh, this line, I take the, uh, I find the position, I take the length of the string, so that's this, and then I add one more to it, because you need a word boundary, of course, to make it an email address, otherwise it'd keep going. So then it would start here, and continue and look for an email address, and then it would find this one, and it would come up and say, this is where I found it, here's the length of the email address, okay, go forward one, start here. So that is what um, this line here is doing, is getting that new position, um, position found plus the the length of everything I described and then as it loops over it so notice my position one is outside the loop if it was inside this would not work at all um, each time it increments so it's going to add a little bit more to this and start this regex match a little bit later in the text and then in here so let me explain a little bit here here's the haystack the things between the quotes are actually the regular expression um, and here is the, this is saying case insensitive. On these subgroups, uh, these things wrapped in parens, this question mark colon is saying don't actually, I'm going to mark this as a subgroup, but don't actually capture it, don't isolate it, don't, don't build a variable for it, because I'm actually not going to do anything with it. So it's just that one there, and you'll notice there's one there, one here and one here. And so you have basically the three parts of an email address. There's the before the at sign, and it's stipulating what it can be. Uh, so that's basically any word, underscore, um, period, or dash. And then the um, over here, and actually I was thinking, you know, I think I need to go back at some point and add in some numbers, because uh, I'm pretty sure you can have numbers, and let me um, I, I'll, I'll do. I'll pl play with that in a bit here. But um, then the at, and then this is the going to be the domain, and um, there's a plus sign there to get one or more of those up to the period. So there's the at and the domain, and then dot, and then this will be the last, the top level domain, the dot com, dot edu, dot whatever. And so it just loops through it, dumps it all into this. E it um, right here, it's putting in the email variable. And that's when I use it here. But then what I do is I say, okay, if it's if if email is blank, then go ahead and that's what this part is right here. If it's blank, then go ahead and break. Stop doing the loop. Basically, it means I haven't found any more matches. And if it's not blank, store the value of this, append it basically to emails, and put it here after the loop's done. I'm gonna put it in the message box. So let me save this, reload it, run it. So you notice it grabbed these email addresses out of here. Let me test that theory here. If I put in one, two, save, reload. Oh, okay. So sorry. Um, dash W. Oh, sorry. It's a word character. I was I was thinking alpha. Um, it was just alpha, but it's alpha numeric because it's words and, and those qualify for that. So that's why that doesn't matter. Um, another example I want to do real quickly is, you know, this is great in in for a way to put in your your content into here, but you know, the minor tweak uh, with auto hotkey, I'm going to say send control C, so I'm basically saying send copy, and then I'm going to change the haystack to equal the clipboard, right? So now, even though I really should, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to, I'm going to blank that out, so now I'm not setting my haystack, and I'm saying hit control C and whatever's on the clipboard, parse it. So I'm going to bring over Word, which I, I had already put the text there. Um, and let me first, I'll highlight one row to show you that 
I run it and it grabs just that, or I can grab all of it, run it, it'll get all of them. Um, I could be in anything though. I can go into my email program. I can go into a web page. It doesn't matter. As long as I can highlight it and hit copy, it'll work. And so it's a great easy way to demonstrate how easy it is in AutoHotKey to make a little minor tweak. But because you can get access to the clipboard, uh, you can basically use this in virtually any program you want parse out email addresses from whatever text you have in almost no time. Thank you.